Hi friends, uh, in this part 10 of the tutorial series, we will be creating the other models that will be required for our application and we will also start working on the edit post form. Okay, So let's start creating our next model. I'm going to close every file from here and till, till now we have this application running and we were able to display all the posts from our database and you can also create a new post here okay great so let me close all the files here and inside my models folder i'm going to create a new javascript file i'll i'll name it as user model okay so this will be the model that we will use uh, for user for storing user data okay I'm gonna copy a few lines of code from my post model to save time so this, this will be my user schema and as you can see that it automatically updates the name here which is good I'll change the name to user and this to user as well and in the user, what do we need? We need a first name, type of string, and we make it a required field. Okay, so required set to true. We also need the last name, type of string, required to true. Uh, let's quickly go back to our register form here. So we need first name, last name, email and password. Okay. So email again type of string required set to true. I'm making all the fields as required. Okay. That the user does not miss on any of these. This will be a string again required set to true and it should be all now to uh, link post model and use with user model uh, since we are using mongodb we don't have any of the uh, regular sql functions like join and all but we can definitely link it so we have to first think that how do we want to link do we want to link i mean have a post uh, key here that will store all the posts uh, created by this user or we will have a key for the user here that will store the uh, id of the user who created that particular post so instead of i mean I, I will take the second approach wherein i will create a new key here that will be linked to the user model and uh, instead of having a key for the post here with uh, which will be an array okay so so because every post can have only one user as the creator okay so let's do that i'm going to create a user key here and this will be an object okay so this will be linked to the user and the type here will be schema dot types dot object id okay so this will automatically uh, get the object id of the user who created it and i'll store it here and we will use a ref keyword here that will be used to reference to the model and the model that you want to the, the string which you want to put here will be the name of the model here like user you will copy it from here and paste it so whatever name you chose there simply replace it here okay that should be all for the user model let's close it also i will be creating another file here that will be my category model i need to have categories category model okay I'll again borrow some code from the post model. Okay. Uh, this is my category schema. 
I don't need all these things. This will be my category, and this will be category as well. So in category, what I need, I need a title, and again, uh, one post can be a part of multiple categories. So we'll do it that way this time, so, to, so as to show you how you can create uh, arrays inside your models. Okay, so type will be string and required is true we are done here close this model and we'll create another key here will be category okay so, at, so for the time being we are assuming that one post is uh, will be a member of only one category will be part of only one category okay we are not going to create an array of categories because we have we will have only one uh, drop down list from where you can choose only one category okay we will we will see the array functionality with the comments okay so let's do that category type will be string or oh no schema dot types dot object it and the refer reference will be my category module simple okay next i know i will have a comments co comments in plural and this will have multiple uh, objects of type schema dot types dot object it and the reference will be to my comment model which is yet to be created okay so th this is an array as you can see here so let's quickly go ahead and create our <coughs> comment model comment model and i will copy the code from here to here replace this with comment schema uh, this will be comment and this will be comment as well so what do you, what do we need in the comments we need uh, the body of course <coughs> that will be the type of string and required to set to true also we need the user who created it right so type of schema dot types dot object it and reference will be to my user model perfect and we'll also have a date type date okay and the default will be date dot now because I want it to be automatically populated and we'll have another field here that will be my proof comment approve comment or uh, let's say comment is approved okay this will be a type of boolean and default will be false okay I don't want the comment to be approved immediately the user submits it okay <clears throat> that should be all these are my four models that I have will work on them one by one okay and I'm, I'm exporting every model here so we are good now so let's work on the edit form here so we have post create form just submitting an action to this create uh, endpoint with a method of post I'll simply uh, create a new handlebars file I'll say edit okay and I'll simply copy the entire code from here to here because the form will be pretty much similar the only thing that I want is to <coughs> create the route first so let's go ahead and create the route so this is still the 
uh, to do I don't, I'm, I'm not in the mood to do a validation here as of now let's uh, create post then we will have edit post okay request dot response and rest dot render admin post uh, edit edit with the data uh, that will be my post okay so I have a post here the post object here I'll find a post okay I'll have uh, I'll store my ID in a variable so params dot ID I'll send uh, an ID parameter while accessing this particular endpoint and that ID will be of my selected post I'm going to store it here and I'll use the method find by ID okay so give it give the ID and then use the 10 method since it's, it's a promise I'll get a post from the database matching this ID and what I want I want to render and send this post as a parameter okay or, or as a uh, as an object to this view okay now we have to go ahead and create this route in our app routing okay admin routes okay so router dot route slash posts slash edit and this will have an IP okay get admin controller dot uh, edit posts okay like that so in my okay if I save everything and while my server is still running okay as you can see here still running if I go back to my admin and okay we don't have any link here let's create that link first to edit the post I'll go back to my index here oh, not the index the post index so I'll create a new heading I'll say actions okay so under this for each loop every uh, row will have an action defined I'll put a button here or let's say an anchor tag that will go to admin posts edit with the ID here underscore ID okay we'll have a class btn btn small btn warning to make it a yellow button and edit post save go back here refresh cool so now if you click this button you see uh, in the status bar here down down at the by the bottom it's giving me the id of the post as well so i click the post it should take me to the uh, edit endpoint here with the id and i have to change the title here so it should say edit post and uh, as you can see that this does not have the current current data populated so we want to populate that and how to do that is very, very simple we are getting the post object if you can remember we are getting that from here I believe yeah so we are sending the post object so I'll use that it's already there I'll use the post dot title in the value attribute okay and for the select I'll leave it as it is as of now and uh, we are not storing that allow comments do we 
uh, we are not showing that. Uh, we'll, we'll store that in a moment. In the text area, I'll put post or description. Let's see if that works. Refresh. Perfect. And you see this face is because uh, I put a gap here. So I'm going to remove that gap. Save. Refresh. And there you have it. So let's store the allow comments also. I have to go here uh, to my post model, post model, post model, and create a new field here. Allow comments type boolean, and let's not make it a required field. And the default should be false okay look good <coughs> sorry so once we have that I'm gonna create delete uh, remove all the posts from here and we'll go back uh, to the code wherein we are saving the post create post okay so submit so I'll also use the allow comments request dot body dot allow comments and I hope we are we have named it allow comments yep cool so that will store let's let's test this I go back all posts, nothing is there. Create new post, first post, public, allow comments. This is the first post ever created. Save it, give it some time. You hope it's working. Oh, I got an error here. Cast to Boolean fail for value on. Okay, okay, so. What happens is whenever you click a checkbox, it gives you the value as on or off. Okay, we have to handle that. So I'm going to create a variable here like uh, comments loud, and so we do a ternary operator here. We will check whether it is available or not in using the ternary operator so I'll show that to you how it's done so we will have allow comments okay if it has that allow comments I want to set it to true otherwise to false okay and instead of using the request body I'll use comments allowed like that okay let's see if this if this works okay. post created perfect and we're not displaying the allow comments we will we'll do that right now I'll create a field here comments allowed just before the action say allow comments save refresh so it's true okay perfect and I want to remember hide this ID column we don't need that actually it looks pretty ugly so save there we go okay so in the next in the next part we will create a delete button we'll see how to delete posts and we will work on the category page okay so till then thank you and have a wonderful day bye bye